good morning everyone welcome back to my channel how you are doing today hope you're doing great thank you so much guys for your support and love towards this channel thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for your comment and like even if I cannot reply everyone I see your comments and I do appreciate them and I love you if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and for my returning subscribers you guys are welcome so in today's video I'm gonna be showing us how to make this pinna photo this is very easy to make you can make this within 10 minutes and the one she's putting on is attached to the front part so they join this pinafore to the upper part of the shoulder this is just one piece she want me to make both the front and the back and I won't be attaching it to any blouse I'm making it on its own so she can style it whichever way she wants to so let's get started I'm making use of this uh, half yards of a uh, Ankara fabric yeah, I think it's less than half years. To determine the fabric you will cut out, you will use the shoulder measurement to cut the fabric. Her shoulder measurement is uh, 14 inches, divided by 2 is 7 inches. So I might add 1 inch for sewing allowance. So the front part is 15 inches and the back is 15 inches. Folded into 2. Yeah, I have about here, roughly 15 inches here. So I will go ahead and then fold it into 2. I'll fold it into two. We are cutting out the front and the back together. I will fold it again. So now it's folded into four. Half of our shadow measurement is seven inches. So I added half inch to it for sewing allowance. You can add half inch or a quarter of an inch for sewing allowance. So seven inches all through to the damp part. The length of the top is 28. 8 inches. I'll be adding 1 inch for sewing allowance, making it 29 inches. Won't be needing much measurement. From shoulder to the chest line is 8 inches. I'm marking the vertical measurement. So from shoulder to her, under bust is 13 inches. From shoulder to waist is 15 inches. From shoulder to hip is 24 inches. I'm adding half inch for sewing allowance. You have to join it at the shoulder. Then from hip to the damp part is 29 inches for sewing allowance. Post, this is the chest line, under post, the waistline, the hip, and the, the length. Mm -hmm. I will place seven and a half inches. That's the shoulder measurements for sewing allowance, half inch. If you look at it closely, the, from the shoulder up to the bust line is straight. So the cuff started right from the under bust measurement to the bottom side. If you're making this, you will use your shoulder measurement to make it. I will go to the, the shoulder here, mark one inch for shoulder slope. I'll connect it. This is the arm hole. So right from this uh, shoulder slope, I have 7 inches here. Around the uh, armhole is 14 inches, divided by 2 is 7 inches. So remember I marked 8 inches for the shoulder here. By the time you remove this one inch, you'll be left with uh, 7 inches. So this is the chest line, All right? So I'll go to the shoulder still and then measure the neckline. I will take 3.5 inches for the neck width. That is the wideness of the neck. I'm taking 3.5 inches. I will take one and a half inches for back depth and three inches for front depth. So I'll make a curve here. The front neckline and then this is the back neckline. So we go ahead and then make that slant. This is the chest line. So I will go inside by half inch. This is the under post. I will go inside by one inch. This is the waistline. I will go inside by one and a half inches. I will go to the hip line. For the hip line, I will go inside by two inches. So this is the length of the top. I will go inside by three inches. 
So I will go ahead and connect the lines. I will connect it right from the chest line to the under bust, from under bust to the waist, from waist to hip, and hip to the length of the top. So I'll place my ruler like so. Let me start from the shoulder. From waist to the hip, and then from the hip, I'll bring it down from the hip to the length of the top. So you see the line is not straight. It's only the side that is straight from shoulder to the bust line is straight. So I started reducing it right from the chest line to the bottom. And there will be other lining to it. So I'll be cutting out the lining and the fabric together. So we'll go ahead and cut it out. I'll cut out the neckline. And the shoulder slope. I just mark all this line for illustration purpose. So I'll go ahead and bring the front part out and then cut out the neckline. So that's just it for the cutting. Go ahead and put the fabric together. So this is what you have when you open it up. This side is wider than the damp part. If you want to add some stripes to it, it is up to you. For this one, she wants me to add um, stripes to it. So this will be for the front and the back. In case you want to tie it by the side. And then this will be for the front and the back on this side. I stitched these stripes already. I have four stripes here. So it's the 13 inches length. And the wideness is one and a half inches. Take a quarter of an inch on each side. Turn it like so and stitch one side. So I will measure where I will add the, the stripe. You can add it anywhere actually. I will add it at the waistline here. 15 inches. So I will place it here. I will be using the lining to turn it around. So I will still place it here. This is 15 inches. Now we we'll take the lining and lay them against each other, right side facing right side. Make sure the stripes are inside. I will sew it like so. With a quarter of an inch, I will leave the shoulder because I will turn the I will turn it right from the shoulder. Now we'll go to the side here. Use half inch to join the side. Use half inch to join the bottom and half inch on this side also. I will repeat the same thing for the back side. So guys, I'm done joining the neckline and the sides together. So I will go ahead and uh, turn it inside out right from one of the shoulders. I left the shoulders unsewed. So before you turn it, make sure you notch the neckline. I've turned it right from one of the shoulders. And go ahead and give it a good press. So I've already turned the back side. Let me know how you guys would like to rock this um, top. Do you want to attach it to a different blouse or you will just uh, make it single on its own? So 
So what we are going to do is to join the shoulders together. So guys, I reduced the neck by one inch. Remember I marked three inches for the front depth and the one and a half inches for the back depth. So I reduced the front by one inch again and then reduced the back by one inch. The front depth is now four inches while the back depth is two and a half inches. So I reduced it so that this can penetrate through the head easily because you don't want me to add slits to the back side. If you don't want to add slits to the back side, you can reduce the neckline so that you don't struggle while putting on the top. I will use our fish to join the shoulders. Yes, guys, this is the finished look of the top. This stripe is optional. If you don't want to add stripe to it, you can omit this part. So you just knot it here. This is the back side. So guys, this top is for a client. I won't be putting it on. It's very beautiful and easy to make. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next one. Subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time. I love you guys. Bye.